Okay. And we're going to try and call Lexus here on Skype and on the phone. Should be calling. There he is. Hello? Hello, Lexus. Hi, Steve. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Uh, Lexus, it's, uh, it's amazing to get a chance to talk with you. I really, really appreciate you for taking the time. Um, oh, no problem. I saw your YouTube video. <laughs> well, you know, this is the first time that I have ever made a call on Skype. And uh, so I was having a little trouble with my microphone, and you and Nick are, are so uh, kind and generous to help me out even with this as we're doing uh -huh. this. And, it can be confusing, I know. Well, and by the way, isn't the technology of it all, isn't that just amazing? Yeah. <laughs> And, and Lexus, I have to tell you this, and, and I, I didn't plan on, on the timing on this, but who could have imagined that within hours of my doing that clip on YouTube, you would be releasing the song Breathe with Nick. I know, right? It's so crazy. <laughs> Lexus, I, I have to tell you that that just might simply be, quite honestly, the most powerful uh, rock ballad I think I've heard this entire year. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so flattered. I saw your video um, on Reprobit, too, and I was very flattered. <laughs> well, that's probably a really good place. To, that's really kind of where I wanted to start w with this anyway. Um, as you know, I've been following music for, you know, let's just say a while. And so I was bumping around last fall sometime, and your, the, the clip came up for Reprobate Romance, and I cued the song up, and from the, the second that it first started, you just grabbed my attention immediately. What an amazing song. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> you know, you, you capture a, a certain feeling in that with the, the song and the video and just the whole thing. It's kind of uh, a mix of power and vulnerability and, and so many other feelings all kind of blended in together. I, I, how do you come up with something like that? Um, well, I guess like exactly what you said, like my main goal in making that song was to make an, an edgy song mm -hmm. that, had, that had the emotion. You know, I originally wanted to write the song about uh, like some type of heartbreak that I was dealing with at the time. Sure. And... Um, but I still wanted to have that edginess. Like at the time, Marilyn Manson was a really big influence, but I still wanted to be able to have really moving lyrics. So that's how it kind of all comes together. Well, you, you, definitely, you definitely got that. And then, um, like right on the heels of that, your second big song was a, a thing called Blacklisted Me. Yeah. And then, you know, which you, which you kind of did for the band. And that was completely different from Reprobate Romance. It was even harder and it was even edgier and the beat of it was completely different as well. But in its own way, that was just as powerful and I love that song a lot too. Thank you. Yeah, my musical taste, um, I know like when people say that they really like every type of music, a lot of people are just bluffing, but I actually really do like every type of music, so I kind of wanted everything I did to be really well-rounded, and the first song was very slow, and the second song was almost like it sounded like a whole different band. Sure. So, I just kind of wanted to match the music with the way I was mm. feeling at the time. of hate messages mm -hmm. and um, I kind of wanted blacklisted me to be a response to all of the com comments that are in that music video so yeah that's pretty much it well you know it, it well and it, it's kind of interesting because in a way that really was a, a very appropriate response and I know that uh, <laughs> you know and and it I, I know that uh, you've been a figure you know, you, you've, you've been a source of some controversy, and there's been a lot of, you know, from what I 
from what I can gather, a lot of rumors and conflicting reports about your personal life and all sorts of different things. And, you know, I can imagine how frustrating that must be for you, uh, I mean, as being somebody who's just trying to go from day to day and live your life as best you can. And then there's all this sort of information and misinformation swirling on around you and, and then people start to talk and, and yet you're still the same person uh, through it all. And in a way that's got to be kind of frustrating and yet in another way it might even be kind of empowering. It, it, is, it is very empowering. That was the point of like the song Blacklisted Me. It, it was I guess meaning like taking all of the hatred that I was getting and using it to fuel my fire and you know all the talking that was going on about like my